Hi guys, welcome to my first of very many videos. Today I will be testing which is the best internet browser for you. Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari or Mozilla Firefox. Now for my first test I wanted to see which internet browser would load up google.co.uk in the shortest amount of time. Mozilla Firefox, Safari, Windows Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. I predict that Google Chrome would come up in the shortest amount of time as it's the fastest browser and it's the best designed. So Mozilla Firefox took two seconds to load up Google which is actually a pretty good time. Safari took also took two seconds which is also a good time to load up Google. Internet Explorer took a staggering six seconds to load up Google which is actually fairly bad and Google Chrome took one second which is the best time so you can see uh, Google Chrome is in the lead my next test is which uh, which browser has the best features and is the best designed now for my next test I'm going to see which browser has the best features and what could use improving so I'm going to start off with Internet Explorer now Internet Explorer is fairly slow but to contradict that it has a very simple layout and any person of any age could use this browser. All, whatever you need is all here and we won't find anything missing. It is very customizable and you, could, you have all the toolbars you need, to, um, you need uh, for it. E.g. Google toolbar to make searching simpler. My next one is going to be, uh, I'm going to test Google Chrome. Now Google Chrome uh, is very fast and can take a bit of getting used to but it, once you've got the hang of it it's very simple this one has a much more modern and sleek design but all of the buttons aren't out for you and you have to sometimes go searching about for them but you have a lot of customizable controls like multiple web pages you can also have that on Internet Explorer multiple home pages and tabbed browsing the problem is with, the problem with Google Chrome is that some plugins are still not yet available for Google Chrome and that can make watching videos or playing games pretty annoying. Also, some toolbars are not also available. Even the Google toolbar, which is from its home browser, is not available for Google Chrome as yet it's still in some testing stages. The next browser I will be testing is Safari. Now Safari is also fairly quick it's sort of, it's also about it's but it's much faster than internet explorer safari in my opinion has the best features some of its uh, features just don't compare to all the others the first one i'll be reviewing for you is top sites this could have a review on its own top sites is amazing it shows all your fe all your websites you frequently visit and the ones with the stars in the corner have new content so you could even have this as your home page and every time you go onto Safari you see what web pages you frequently visit and the best ones too. You can all, once you can all, it's very customizable, so when you edit you can choose small icons, small icons, medium icons or large icons. So depending on how many you need, uh, how many web pages you visit and how much you need, it's all there. You can also move things around. So Say I wanted Apple's home page as my first thing, but then I see I visit YouTube a lot, but much much more, so you can easily swap it around. You can also uh, take pages off the internet and just pin it to here, so if you don't visit that frequently, but still want it on your top sites, it's always there. You also can view your search history and cover flow, which is also a very good idea, and uh, Apple ingenious basically. Now, once you get into CoverFlow, uh, you will find a lot of different things. Uh, it's basically what's the name. So, uh, I haven't been on the internet too much this day, but I wanted to go to my history or my bookmarks bar, and it's very simple. You just browse through CoverFlow. The next thing that will ha um, the next browser also. Safari is also fairly sleek and designed, so not many of the buttons are out, which means you also have to search around. Another problem with Safari is you don't get you 
another problem with Safari is you can't set multiple home pages and getting tab browsing is sometimes fairly complicated. And finally, the last one I'm reviewing is um, is Mozilla Firefox. It's basically the browser for the people and they listen, they listen to what we want. So yeah, this is fairly simple, actually very simple. And every, all the buttons you need are out, so it's also very simple. It's also faster than Internet Explorer and tab browsing is very easy. It has all the customizable tools and options you need and you can also have multiple home pages. Big buttons ensure you that you are, that you'll have a good browsing experience. So, um, but the, it's also sometimes can get a little slow when a lot of people are using the same connection. Now for my final test, well, you can decide on this: the browser with the best looks. Now, in my opinion, I would either take I would eliminate Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer as they don't really go with the modern, new, sleek design. The two competitors in this category would be Google Chrome and Safari. Now, Safari has some very good looking things. As you can see at the top here, it's very small, sleek and customizable. And everything you need is here. Problem is here, that when you want to get into tabs or anything, it's, not, it's pretty complicated and you have to go and search for it. Uh, but it, on the other hand, if you look at Google Chrome, it's also very, very sleek and modern, and everything you need is there. So tab browsing is just simple, multiple home pages, and everything like that. Which unfortunately, Safari doesn't have multiple doesn't have multiple home pages. Also, Google Chrome is quicker, and for and this is why. I have chosen Google Chrome as the best internet browser for for you. It's extremely quick, extremely simple, um, v it, uh, uh, very easy to use, and you're never going to get stuck on anything. My problem is, and this is the only problem, is the plugin part, which plugins aren't available yet. But soon we'll be seeing the plugins come available as later versions of the browser will be released. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.